previously on Alienated. Whoa. Hey. I've been abducted by aliens. Say it again. I've been abducted, abducted by aliens. Yes. You do think you got abducted by aliens, right? Dad, we all have to move out of the house. Does so have something to do with the aliens? Yes. You're all nuts. Isabel, you were abducted, sweetie. Obviously, the aliens can find us wherever we go, so we might as well just go back to the house. I can't even imagine what would happen if this got out. These are all the ones I could find. Listen to this, Dad. What the Blundells did not know when they purchased the four-bedroom house in 1998 was that the people who lived there before them have disappeared off the face of the earth. Disappeared? They live out in Langford. At least I thought they did. Maybe that's just what they told us so we wouldn't be suspicious. They live in Langford. I bumped into their daughter last week. You realize we'll never be able to sell this house now? Might as well be built over a toxic waste dump. I don't think we have anything to worry about. We're on the cover. We're going to be the laughing stocks of the whole school. It's a tabloid. What do you know that reads this chunk? Have you seen this? I just can't believe it. This isn't really happening to you, is it? No, it's not true at all. Right? Right. Come on, you don't really believe the garbage they print in these things, do you? Of course I don't. Uh, I just wanted to make sure, that's all, because, you know, a lot of people read this paper and take it quite seriously. Take what seriously? The article about you in the paper. Tabloid. What article? Don't worry, Dad. No one's going to pay any attention to it. You couldn't help yourself, could you? You just had to go public. We had nothing to do with that story, I swear. Come on, I've got to get out of here. Oh, but, Dad, it's... No! Today, examining an 88-page document... I can't believe you're really going to make us go to school. It sickens me that you can be this callous about our welfare. Nothing is going to happen, OK? Now, let's go. You're going to be late. Here's your lunch, Cameron. Fine. But the blood will be on your hands. ...will look at this decision and say, oh, we need to give a more clear-cut explanation of our estimates and our numbers and that uh, perhaps this proposal is the best one and we can prove it uh, in a new uh, application. And that's basically the forecast for Tofino all the way south. The only difference really right now is temperature 14 degrees in Tofino and Victoria. It's 10 in Port Alberni, 11 in Nanaimo, and 13 in Port Medford. Go and see who it is. So today our forecast calls for... Roger? Hi, uh, I'm Mort. Uh, this is my wife, Ingrid. Hello. Hi. We drove down from Port Hardy last night. Straight through. 
Uh, and I just want to say it's an honor to be here. It might just be my nerves, but I truly believe I can feel their presence. I truly do. Whose presence? Excuse me, Roger. Hi, my name's Alan DeVoe. I'm a charter member of the Alien Encounter Advocacy and fellow abductee, Cross Falls, Alberta, March 6, 1989. I'm sure you've read about it. Listen, I don't know how many people, if any, you're going to be allowing inside, but I just thought it'd be fair to let you know that I was here first. Excuse me? Well, there was no one here when I got here this morning. 5.30 a.m., I hope it didn't wake you. We were in our camper across the street. Well, that's across the street, isn't it? Could you let us stay in the garage? I'd be willing to pay you, say, $200 for the night. It's very important that they meet my daughter. Excuse me, uh, Roger, I'd be willing to pay for that privilege as well, and just to let you know again that I was here first. That's just not true. We'll pay you $300. Roger? What's going on? Sarah. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. They're here to get abducted. What? Excuse me, Sarah. Alan DeVoe, I was here first. Listen, it's very important I get abducted again. It's a closure issue for my last abduction. I'm sure you read about a Cross Falls, Alberta, no, March 6th. No, wait. You people have it all wrong. There have been no abductions here. They're willing to pay to stay in the garage. What about the article? In, in the paper? Tabloid. It's a tabloid. And it, it's not true. You wouldn't be saying this just to get rid of us, would you? So you could keep this phenomena all to yourself. Of course not. Why would we want to do that? You have exclusive access to extraterrestrial beings. Now, obviously, the more you get abducted by them, the more potential you have to influence their power. Look, believe me, the last thing we would want is to be abducted again. So you have been abducted. No, I... I mean, if, if we had been abducted in the first place, we would never want to be abducted again. She's lying. But can't you just give some of us a chance, please? Yeah! yeah. yeah. I was here first, though. You're wasting your time. How much money will it take? Why don't you just let us all inside? Yeah. 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 Well, why don't we just tell them that the house isn't the reason for the abductions? How are we going to do that without admitting we were abducted in the first place? We don't need to tell them that we were all abducted. We just need to tell them that Isabel was abducted from a motel. Yeah, right. Single me out. Not a chance. Look, sir, it doesn't seem to matter what we tell them. Maybe we just give in and take advantage of the situation. They're willing to pay us to stay in the garage. Have you forgotten what happened last time we went public? Well, we don't have to say anything. We'll just take their money. What happened? I got demoted. And? Made fun of. That's right. And we don't want that to happen again, do we? If we let them in, no matter what we say, it's going to look like we're admitting the abductions are going on in here. The best thing to do is just ignore them. Sooner or later, they're going to leave. And this whole thing will be forgotten. We've all heard about houses that are haunted by ghosts, but what about a house that's haunted by aliens? That's what one Victoria family is claiming, and there doesn't seem to be a shortage of people who want to believe them. It all started last Tuesday when the Blundell family was featured in a supermarket tabloid claiming that aliens are abducting them from their home. And UFO enthusiasts have been showing up ever since. Well, we drove right through the night. As as Please tell me that one of you is about to come on and vehemently deny the whole thing. I'm here because this house may They be came to get your side of the story, right? In the world at this time. We stopped answering the door. But one person who's not buying into the story is Sarah Blundell's father, George Crickmore. It's a sickness. You know, that's what it is, a mental sickness. Somehow they got it into their heads that aliens are messing with them. And now they can't think otherwise. Even my two grandchildren, Cameron and Isabel, think they've been abducted. I tell you, it's a damn shame. Well, 
Luckily, no one watches this station. <laughs> it's a sickness. You know, that's what it is, a mental sickness. Somehow they got it into their heads that aliens are messing with them. Even my two grandchildren, Cameron and Isabel, think they've been abducted. <laughs> sickness. You know, that's what it is, a mental sickness. Somehow they got it into their heads that aliens are messing with them. And now they can't think otherwise. Even my two grandchildren, Cameron and Isabel, think they've been abducted. I tell you, it's a damn shame. I'm not walking through that. They'll eat us alive. Excuse me, aren't you Isabel and Cameron Blundell? It's okay, you don't have to worry. I want to help you. Who are you? That's not important right now. What is important is that I be allowed to speak with your parents as soon as possible. Wait a minute, I recognize you. No, I doubt that. Didn't you play Sulu on the original Star Trek series? Nope. Yeah, you did. It's George Takei from Shh. Star Trek. Okay, yes, I am. And it's Takei. Now will you get me in to see your parents? Not unless you want to go through that. There's no other way in? We could go through the back, but that means going up to the next block and sneaking through the Mosley's yard. Why don't you hop in and we'll drive over there. Some kind of distraction. A distraction? Yes. Hello? Oh, hi, Cameron. Where are you? What? Who is it? Is it another current call? No, it's Cameron and Isabel. They're in the backyard with George Takai from the original Star Trek, and they need a distraction to clear the yard so that they can come in. Uh, excuse me, folks. <clears throat> I uh, just wanted to announce that I'm going to be making an announcement on the front porch in a few minutes. So if you... Um... Could all move around to the front yard, that would be great. It's working. <clears throat> We've decided to um, allow one person to stay in the garage overnight. I was here first. And, and since there's no way to interview all of you, we've decided that the fairest thing to do is to take the person who's willing to pay the most money. I believe the uh, last bid was $500. I'll give you $600. $1,000. $1,200. Oh. $2,000. Do I hear $2,100? Doesn't anybody else want a chance to get abducted by the aliens? It's a hell of a ride, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Right, all right, $2,100. Yes. 2300 2500 2500 Roger? Uh, please come inside. 2600 Uh, just a second. We're not finished here. Yeah! You suck! What is the matter with you? $2,600 to stay in our garage for one night? What's the matter with you? Shh, not now. George, the guy from Star Trek, is here. Ah, uh, Roger, this is George Takai. Takai. Hi. It is a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, Roger. And thanks for that distraction. The old announcement. Good one. Thanks. So, I don't know about you guys, but, uh... 
I could go for some gin. Gin? Uh, sure. Roger, we have gin, don't we? Sure. Gin and... Gin. One gin and gin coming up. So, what brings you to Victoria? Your lovely house, Sarah. Really? Level with me. Have they really been taking you out of here? How can you not love gin? Let me cut to the chase. I want to buy this house from you. Great. Oh, well, the, the thing is, uh, Mr. Takai. Uh, the Takai. This house is. Uh, Perfect for you. It's practically a landing pad for the aliens. Roger, what are you doing? It's all right, Sarah. I wouldn't expect you to just give it to me. Now, I have my banker standing by, ready to courier a cashier's check for one million dollars. A million dollars? A Canadian. Still, that seems fair. Excellent. All I need is some proof. Proof? Well, that's right. Something that verifies that you really have been contacted by these aliens. Isabel, show it to him. What? Show him. Roger, no. It's OK, Mom. I can fight it. Fight it? Are you sure? Is that a pimple? Sulu. Your eyes. They're like two beautiful stars in the night sky. So bright. So luminous. So mysterious. But that's enough! Wow. Incredible. Can I see that again? No! no. You've got your proof. Now, do we have a deal? Oh, we have a deal. Ain't that a kick? Yeah, it's George. Yep, it's going through. That's right. Uh -huh. We can't do it. It's wrong. Right. It's a million dollars, Sarah. There's nothing wrong with that. But the house has nothing to do with the abductions, and if he knew that, I want to buy it? Hey, we don't have to tell him anything. Buyer beware. I'm not sure that's legal, Dad. Of course it is. Well, it's not ethical. Who's been teaching him about ethics? Okay. It's all arranged. Great. That's just great. Let's just seal the deal with an old-fashioned handshake and drink some gin to celebrate. A handshake? The clasp of trust between honest men. You are an honest man, aren't you, Roger? I'm sorry, we can't do it. What do you mean? It isn't the house the aliens are interested in. It's us. Isabel was abducted from a motel downtown. I'm sorry. Come here. <laughs> Honor. That's what it's all about, Roger. You did the right thing. Sounds like you've got yourselves an angry mob. Yeah. Maybe I can help. Let us in! Let us in! It's George Takai! Thank you. Thank you. 
I know that a lot of you came here in the hopes of having an alien encounter. Excuse me, Mr. Takei. Alan DeVoe, I was here first. You may remember me from the Star Trek convention last year in Vancouver. Not now. Not now. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you all. After inspecting this house thoroughly and interviewing the owners, I've determined that no alien abductions have ever taken place here. What? It's impossible. But he said he was abducted. Yes! He said it! These people are under a lot of stress. They didn't ask for all this attention. It was thrust upon them by the media. Yes, they made some mistakes. Yes, they may have said something that they shouldn't have said. But deep down, they're good, honest people who are just trying to keep their heads above water. So why don't we give them a chance to do just that? What do you say we let them get back to their lives? Well, this is goodbye. Thanks for everything, Mr. Takai. And just call me George. George? Yeah, uh, thanks again. And uh, sorry for trying to swindle you like that. Don't mention it. See you, kids. Bye. Bye. Remember, aliens are just friends you haven't met yet. Let's roll. Doesn't it feel good to have done the right thing? No. Next time on Alienated. The only thing I can think of is that you have some sort of parasite in your system. You mean a tapeworm? Yes. So it's not alien related then? Oh no, it's alien. <laughs>